Hey there guys, I got the Daniel Smith uh, swatch card set and today I'm going to be swatching out the yellows, oranges, reds and purples and I'm going to do a whole series of each page. And at the end of this video there's going to be some juicy swatching so you can go watch that or not watch it if you'd like. So here I'm opening the 238 dot card set and as I mentioned today I'm doing the first card and I'll make this a series of videos. You can watch the juicy session at the end if you like. You can also speed up this video to uh, two times if you want and mute it but I decided to keep it at real time and talk through the process because some people like that. And it's just easier to edit the video, frankly. <laughs> I'm using this synthetic brush to make it easier to get the paint up. And I started with drops of water, but that became too much paint. So I changed it and uh, the video goes a little faster. Also, the light gets better. So just know that in the rest of the other videos. Okay, so let's jump into it. Let's go for the first one, Buff Titanium, which I actually own. Try to make it concentrated up here. Or maybe down down here because the color is going to be down there. And then drop a tiny bit of water in there. We'll see what happens. Enhance the yellow. So pigmented. That's a nice sort of warmish yellow. Permanent orange. Beautiful. Some water in. Drop some water in there. Okay, cadmium red hue. Beautiful. All right, Road Knight. I have this one. It's a Prima Tech. And I find they're always sort of harder to. Hmm. With the Prima Tech, you just can't see. You really want juicy big swatches to properly swatch these out. Like this tiny swatch, you just can't get the the feel of it because I know I've played with this in another video of mine if you care to go watch that quinacridone fuchsia 
some clear water on there. 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 Okay, a nickel titanate yellow. Interesting. Not too fond of this color. It's just sort of a, you know, it just feels like just a tiny bit dirty, like you had a bit of that on your brush and you go there. Dump some water in there. And then Mayan yellow. Beautiful, bright, warm color. Bright and warm at the same time. Drop a bit of water in there. All right, cadmium orange hue. Bright orange. Okay, pyro red. Woo! It's like glowing, crazy, very pretty, semi transparent red. Okay, let's go for Carmine. Very pretty. Drop some water. Mayan Violet. Transparent. I'm probably going to go buy this color because I'm just loving the transparent ones. I mean, that's what's so beautiful about watercolors is the transparency rather than gouache. If you're into that, the transparency of watercolors are gorgeous. Drop a bit of water. Okay. Bismuth Vanadate Yellow. Oops. This is opaque. Hmm. 
nice basic opaque yellow if you like that. Drop some water in. All right. Naples yellow. Semi transparent. Looks like I have a bit of. Can go wash my water. Paranoan orange, semi transparent. Caroline Red. New Rose Matter Permanent. Probably not new now. Transparent. Trying to make the swatches as big as I can without covering up. Ooh, oh no, it's touching. <laughs> Bordeaux, semi-transparent. Very dark. It's a yellow light. Indian yellow. Uh, hair in there. This is gorgeous. I'm going to buy this one. Cadmium Red Scarlet Hue. Semi-transparent. Permanent Red.
very nice red. Opera pink. Oh wow. I have another opera pink in Magello color or brand. It's beautiful. Quinacridone Violet. Hey, I think I'm making these too dark so I can't see light. Azo yellow. Semi transparent. Hansa yellow deep, semi transparent. I'm going to try to just get some water in there instead. Transparent pyro orange. <gasps> oh yeah, I wanna I'm gonna order this color. Oh, it's gorgeous. Permanent red deep, semi-transparent. This pink. Love this color. Can't believe I don't have this yet. It's a bit weird to work with though. Permanent violet. Beautiful. I would buy this one. Cadmium yellow light hue. Another yellow that looks very similar to the others. Semi transparent. New Gamboge, I have this color. Transparent, which is 
beautiful. Trying to get this luminous quality here. Organic Vermilion. This is not a color I use often, like oranges. I'm a love cool colors. Quinacridone Red. Did I do that? Paraline Violet. This sounds like I'm gonna like it. Oh! And it is. Beautiful. all these yellows do you not me semi-transparent like, okay. isoindoline yellow looks orange to me but hey that's just me Mayan orange, semi-transparent. Oh. Anthraquinoid red. And Thraquinoid Red. It's actually a really nice red and it's transparent. I think I'm going to buy that one. It's a very nice red. Transparent Quinn Rose. I think I have this one. Pretty sure. I know I have it in Magello. Mission Gold. Cobalt Violet. Mm, that's a hard one to get started. Fully transparent though, which is pretty. Mm, that's really hard to get started. Hmm. I'll just leave some water on there I think come back to it cobalt yellow don't need that many yellows <laughs> permanent yellow deep they're still despite the water on there they're still not fully ready to pick up That's a nice transparent one. Quinacridone Coral, this is a color that's on my wish list. Although the not, now that I see it in person, not that I'm not create that, I don't know, it's just not my, if it was coral, like, I don't know, it's not really my color. Hmm. 
but it's transparent, so I think it might be worth getting. All right, Mayan Red. Very transparent. It's fully transparent. It's weird to work with though. It's almost like a muted, earthier version of this quinacridone coral. That's still not going, that cobalt violet. Wow, really? It's all bubbling up. Um, Quinacridone lilac. It's interesting. Mm. That's very pretty. I think I'd get that one over the rose. Over that one. Because I have, well, I have a similar color. It's Gramacodone Rose is worth getting. Alright, Cobalt Violet Deep. Nice cool purple here. Transparent. Oh, I think I'd buy this one definitely. Yeah, definitely buy that one. Beautiful. Put touch of one. Lemon yellow. Transparent lemon yellow. All right, this Aussie red gold I've wanted for a while. It's sold out in a lot of places usually. Beautiful. Very pretty. Yeah, fully transparent. I think that's why people like that one. Pyro Scarlet. It's not my kind of color. Although I am going to get this transparent Pyro Orange. Because I really like that one. Lizard Crimson. Beautiful. Quinacridone magenta. So nice. Fully transparent. Ultra Mean Red, fully transparent. I think I will like this one too. There's a cool purple. Oh, I don't. I think I would get this one instead. Well, hmm. you could just put a touch of red in this one and then get that similar to that. It's a weird. It's that weird, like, non pigmenty. Um, feeling. Cadmium Yellow Deep Hue. Semi transparent. Pyrrole Orange, semi transparent. your 
fire engine orange. Okay. Feraline Scarlet. Really pretty, sort of orangey, well, tomatoey red. Like a, almost a kind of a true red. It's sort of a in the middle, cool and warm. Mid, permanent lizard in crimson. Transparent. It's pretty. Pyro Crimson. Curious about this one. Ooh. Semi transparent. It's beautiful. Rose of Ultramarine. I have this gorgeous one. Love it. One of my favorites. Oh, look at that red purple. Oh, so beautiful. Okay. That's it for the yellows, oranges, and purples. Okay, sorry about the light, guys. I know it's half and half, sort of darker and in the sun, but I'm showing it in the sun there so you can kind of see the difference in the colors. You can also really see them well here while I pan over them um, slowly. And so at the very end, um, keep watching. If you just want to see me play with these colors and just kind of do a juicy swatch session, I kind of like to see how they move and... Uh, see how they work together and stuff like that. So thanks for watching and uh, Have a great day I think that swatches should be done in a juicy fashion and I'm gonna give a shout out to one of my commenters on my channel where I did swatches of Daniel Smith and I played with them I have a, a video on that and someone commented thank you she or he appreciated the way I swatched which is very juicy big swatches and saw how they work together so I agree so thank you for that comment and I'm going to do that again with a bigger brush and I'm going to take some of these colors because they're still here and just play with them and see how they work together. And this is pretty cheap paper, so it's gonna all curl up and be annoying, of course. Try that. Okay, so let's go for this permanent orange. I'm going to go for cadmium red hue. I just got to load my brush the best I can. Let's go for some quinacridone fuchsia. Very hard with such small swatches here. Let's go for a Mayan yellow.
beautiful color. Carmine. I'm actually going by how much paint is on this card because I know I can grab a little more. Ooh. Mine Violet. Oh, Bordeaux. Go back to this brush, stiffer synthetic Quin Violet. I'm trying to grab some paint, so Ooh. Look at that. Let's take some of this pyrrolene violet. This lighting isn't too bad because I've got sun coming in but I've got a big ring light it's a lot of light but it might be different um, to her can light here but Quinn Rose I've got a lot of here some of this cobalt deep um, pretty hard though it's, it's very light it's transparent colors together are gorgeous new quadacridone lilac Ooh. How about some of this transparent pyro orange, which is a color I'm going to buy. And see how that does with some Indian yellow, which is transparent. So beautiful. That's the perline here, I think. Look at that for a sunset or something. Let's try to get into the sun. <laughs> uh, what else? How about some opera pink? And some rows of ultramarine. This one you need to see a big swatch of because it 
you can see it like separate. Put some water in there. Um, alizarin, alizarin crimson. Kind of ruining my swatch sheet for this video. Alizarin crimson, transparent. Aussie red gold. Ooh, beautiful. How about some cadmium yellow deep hue? How that layers over the purple. Yellow and purple are complementary, so get some singing colors there. How about some permanent red? I'm not that into reds. I'm more of a purple, pink, turquoise, blues, green girl. I'm not really... Okay, what about this? Permanent violet. That's gorgeous. Permanent violet. What's this one, this paraline violet, is the dark one. Dark and muted. Burgundy wine. Give me a thumbs up for juicy swatches, people. If you're enjoying this. Um, this cadmium red scarlet hue. Orange. I'll get this permanent red deep. Okay, that's a beautiful true lipstick red right there. I really want to get that one. Permanent red deep. Look at that. It's just like red. You want red. Put a tiny bit of green in there to darken it up and temper it down a bit if you want. Um, alizarin crimson, I already did that. Oh, what else? Anthra anthraquinoid red. Anthraquinoid red. It's transparent. Okay, what else? Paraline red? I didn't do that one, I don't think. Paraline red, sort of a rustyish orangey. Hmm. Interesting. Sorry about the difference in light. I wish it was all sun, but... Okay, I think that's it. Maybe use that one more. Pyrrole Crimson. Semi-trans. A 
That's very like sort of true red too. See that? Very true red. Um, I can't stop. How about... I don't want to ruin my swatch, but buff titanium. Semi-transparent. Kind of graze things down there. Indian yellow. I've always loved this color. I just love that with purple. Indian yellow with purple. Alright, I think that's it. Or maybe we could go for one more purple here. Ultramarine red. This one's hard to pick up. It's very weird, this one. Yeah, that's weird to paint with. If you want in your face, smack your mama in your face, don't get that one. <laughs> Cobalt violet deep. I think this is the same. It's not very smack you in the face. See that? It's very has its use, but it's all those are in crimson. I think I've done most of the how about this cobalt yellow? Transparent, very transparent. Let's see what happens over the other colors. I don't know. Um, oh, no, I Take a, this lemon yellow. Transparent bright yellow. I'm trying to get as much as I can. This is what most people, I think, love about watercolors, are this transparent nature here. Or why you'd use it instead of gouache. Is this layering and transparency, building up the colors here. Even yellow and purple, which are complements, go over each other. Beautiful. And that's it. Okay, so that's it for the yellows, oranges, and pinks and purples.